I remember going to a financial workshop at SMU and it was a panelist and one of the guys on the panel, he worked at a bank and he was talking about debt repayment. And so I met with him and I was like, how do you repay debt? Right? Like, is there some magic formula, some magic wand to repay debt? And he basically was like, you just got to suck it up and repay it back. <laughs> right? There's no magic wand. But he did tell me these three things about best practices, in his opinion, on paying off debt. First thing he said was aggressively pay off bad debt with high interest. So what's bad debt? My definition or in my opinion, bad debt are things that going to depreciate in value over time that you have a loan on, right? So think about consumer electronics. You got a computer, laptop, TV. This TV is not worth as much in one year as it was when I paid for it, but my loan for it is still the same amount, right? Me and Anthony had a debate about cars. I'm gonna throw cars in bad debt. Even though a car can make you money, but as soon as, if you get a $30,000 loan on a car, as soon as you drive it off the lot, that car is worth 25,000. You drive it 10,000 miles over a year, now it's worth 22,000, but your loan is still 30,000. That's bad debt because the product you have in your hand is worth less than the loan that you currently are paying on, right? So that's what I call bad debt. And then oftentimes with bad debt comes high interest. Credit card is bad debt, but most of the things you're gonna buy, consumer goods on a credit card, are gonna depreciate in value, or you're gonna eat them, or like use them in terms of gas, right? So they're no longer exist, and you have this high 20 plus percent interest rate on it. And then on your cars, you could get a good car loan, 3%, but oftentimes your car loans are 9%, I've seen people have like 18% interest on car loans, so your interest rate is really high. So what he told me to do first, aggressively pay off any bad debt with high interest. And by aggressively, I take that as I'm paying twice the minimum due every month. So on my mom's car, I talked about I bought my mom a car, my interest rate on that car was 9%. The monthly payment was $209. I paid 400 bucks every month on that car to pay that debt off as soon as possible. The second thing he said, it's let good debt with a lower interest rate idle. Idle doesn't mean don't pay it off. It just means make sure you're making your payments on time every month, but you don't have to be aggressive about paying it off because it's technically good debt and the interest rate is lower, right? So what's good interest rate, low interest rate? Two to 3%. So the best example of good debt is property, like your home, right? And then this is the big one, right? People are like, how do I repay debt? There's no magic formula. I think the best thing that you can do is increase your earning potential as quickly and as highly as possible to be able to pay off the debt. There, there are some forgiveness programs. Like if you got student loans and you go and teach in an underprivileged neighborhood, you may get forgiven. Some other things that are out there that you can sprinkle to help your debt, but for the most part, you just gotta have more money <laughs> to pay it off. So he said, increase your earning potential as quickly, as highly as possible.